Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta, and on this video I'm gonna check out Subtube's Marshall Silver Jubilee plugin. All right, the song you just heard and saw, I used the Silver Tube plugin. As you can see, it looks great, like a real amplifier, and it acts and sounds pretty much the same, like a real one too. I've, I've owned a real one back in the day. Okay, very quite straightforward. Not as straight war, but as JSM800. This is based on the 800 Tutorial 3, which I have three over there. So your basic controls. Presence base, middle treble. Output, output master and separate master for lead channel, overdriven channel. Input gain and rhythm clip. You can add a clipping diode there. So, how do we dial the sound? Similar sound that I, I had on the, on the song. Well, first, Input gain, aka preamp on the 800, max. I don't wanna use the rhythm clip because I, I will be using. Super overdrive later. I actually had it on, but now it's not. Then master. All right, around there. Okay, then let's dial the other knobs.
All right, cool. We have a basic sound, which is quite balanced. Then let's add super overdrive. Cool. Now let's check out the miking a bit. So the cabinet, this is 4x12 silver jupe cap with Celestine Vintage 30s. It was, it was the, the first Marshall cabinet that came with V30s as a standard. So, let's start with the dynamic microphones from Classic 57 SN7B. So there's condenser microphones, dynamic, and then off if you want to use third-party IR. Okay? That 57. And the body from seven, SN7B. And let's do a little separation. Cool. Now they a little bit like this, and then let's add a U87 Neumann room mic there, yeah, just to a little bit give it, give it some real like feeling and. A room mic also kind of glues the close mics together. Okay, then a cool thing is you can actually add some delay without the delay pedal by using another room mic. So let me show you. So, because it's really far in the room, you get this delay effect. All right, let's you don't use that now, and then let's check out the condenser microphones. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But let's. Move back to dynamics, and on the song, the left guitar was this dynamic setting, the right guitar was the with the condenser mics. And okay, now the sound is good, but we can make it better by making it really bad first. So, if you've been at the sound check, you know, listening, or as a musician, you always, you know, the sound engineer whether it's in the studio or live at the venue, they always make the sound really bad first. And that is because then it's really easy to make even better than this. So, let's close this, open the mixer, and I will show you. So, first, you know, at least I want to get rid of a little bit of that honkiness. So what you do is you put the gain really high, then you find, find, find the place where it sounds really bad. that out.
then you know to get a bit more metal or aggressive a high shelf is cool so let's put this to zero this on and gain max and then let's find a frequency that's like you know the air that and then let's take it back just add a little bit of that hair sound a little bit aggressive like this but in the mix it just works like a charm and while we are at it let me show you so the song you heard in the beginning here's the guitar tracks so I did guitar left and then at the same time I recorded the solo which I just moved on this lead track where I used the the room mic as a delay and then I just played this again and after I feel myself I played this. So, sounds like this. Okay, so this is what you do, and this is what is, has always been done with the mix ready impulse responses. So let me get explain. Okay, so now we have this sound. Sounds great. And we have the EQ on, yes. So Let's bypass this and open the library here where I have Jens Bulgren's impulse responses. These are great. They're like mix ready. So what Jens has done here is that, uh, well, the same thing, cabinet, speakers, microphones. And after that, he has EQ'd them differently. So basically these are different EQ settings. And let's check out the, well, Greasy Beard is there. Another my favorite sound of God, EQ2. Okay, but you know, with this, it's basically So, you can do this also, and this is the no, old school way. But if you don't want to do this for whatever reason, 
the Jens Bulgren and IRs, they're great because there's different EQ settings, so they work on, on every style. But this is how it's done the old school way. So you can really shape the sound after. All right. Hey, hopefully this was interesting and informative. Maybe you learned something about getting a, a great guitar sound. So if it takes more than a couple of minutes to dial a sound like this, then there's probably something wrong with the gear or also most likely with the player. I mean, with real gear, it obviously takes long because I spent sometimes like a few hours to dial a good guitar sound, you know, changing cab cabinet, microphones, going back to listen and stuff. But with this, you do it virtually, it's really fast and really easy. And I must say that these Softube's Marshall plugins are fantastic. All right, hey. They have a 20 days tryout period, so if you're interested, please visit the website. There's also cool videos about how they how they have they've done these, you know, there's great world known engineers involved and stuff, and these these are the only official Marshall plugins, so Marshall has been involved too. Strong recommendation. Until next time, take care. See you. Bye.